Hi, my name is Fabio. I'm from the Cisco Tech Telepresence team. In this video, I'm going to show you an example on how to configure certificate trust between Expressway C and CUCM. Expressway version 14 introduced several security enhancements to MRA deployments, which require trust stores on both sides to be configured correctly so that both parties can validate each other's certificates. As seen here, CUCM services have both RSA and EC signed certificates. So, as a first step, we need to check the Expressway C cipher configuration to determine what kind of certificate will be requested by Expressway during the TLS handshake. On Expressway C, let's navigate to Maintenance, Security, Ciphers. Here, we need to analyze the cipher strings to determine the certificate preference. An easy way to do this is by looking for this cipher at the beginning of the string. If it's there, as in this example, it means Expressway will request the RSA signed certificate. If it's not there, the EC signed certificate will be requested instead. In this example, we have confirmed that the RSA certificate is preferred. So, let's now go to CUCM and log in to the Cisco Unified OS Administration page. Navigate to Security Certificate Management. Now, let's inspect the Call Manager certificate. In this example, we can see it signed by a Certificate Authority, or CA. So, we will need to install that authority's certificate into the Expressway C Trust Store. Let's go back to Expressway C to Maintenance, Security, Trusted CA Certificate. Click Choose File and select the certificate that belongs to the CA signing the Call Manager Certificate. Now, click Append CA Certificate to add it to the Trust Store. A success message will appear at the top. Note that in some deployments, there may be multiple CAs in the certificate chain. In that scenario, all intermediate and root certificates present in the chain need to be installed in the Expressway C Trust Store. Now let's go back to the CUCM Certificate Management page and inspect the Tomcat certificate. In this example, this certificate is self-signed, as we can see here. So in this case, we will need to download the self-signed certificate itself, and that's what we will append to the Expressway C Trust Store. Same as before, we will go to the Trusted CA Certificate page on Expressway C, upload the self-signed Tomcat certificate, and append it to the Trust Store. This completes the Trust Store configuration on Expressway C. Let's now configure CUCM to trust Expressway C. In this example, my Expressway C certificate is signed by a single root CA, so that's what I will upload to CUCM. Let's navigate to the CUCM Certificate Management page and click Upload Certificate. We need to upload the Expressway C CA twice, once for Colmire Trust and again for Tomcat Trust. I will start by selecting Call Manager Trust. I will add a short description, select the CA certificate file, and click Upload. A success message is shown and the same dialog window also tells which services need to be restarted for the change to take effect. Now I will upload the CA to Tomcat Trust by choosing it as the certificate purpose. Again, the dialog window shows which services need to be restarted. In total, the services that need to be restarted are 
Call Manager, TFTP, Tomcat, and HA Proxy. The services can be restarted from the web admin page by signing in to Cisco Unified Service Ability and navigating to Tools, Control Center, Feature Services to restart Call Manager and TFTP. and to Tools, Control Center, Network Services to restart Tomcat. You can also restart these services from the CLI by using the Utils Service Restart Service Name command. Note that the HA proxy service is not always present depending on your specific deployment. If present, it can only be restarted from the CLI. This completes the mutual trust configuration example. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.